Hey, what's up guys? Photographer David Johnson here and welcome into this week's episode of Best of Luminar, a weekly show where we take the best photos from this past week that were shot in the field and then leveled up using Skylum software. Now, what is Skylum software? It's like a community of software that you can use as photographers, no matter what you shoot, to take your photos from the field and then quickly produce professional results in post-processing so that you can get back in the field and take more photos, which is what we all want to do as photographers anyways. Now, if you want to see your photos featured on the Skylum Instagram account and also possibly in videos like these, head over to Instagram and follow at Skylum underscore global. And then when sharing your photos, use the hashtag made with Luminar and then subscribe to this channel on YouTube to see if your photos got into the best seven photos from this past week. Also, if you've kind of been thinking about trying Luminar out, there's a link below in the video description that you can use to have a free version of Luminar to try on your own, see how it works, and see how you can improve your photography using that software. But without further ado, let's jump into this week's top seven. First, photo this week is from Lisa K. Now this is shot from Germany. Now this is a photo that's like a street slash architectural photograph and what's really well done here is when you're pairing architecture and street photography into the same thing, you have clean, neat lines and Lisa's done a really good job of that in this image and the key to this is repetition. You have same shapes repeating over and over and then you also have soft color palette shades with like this purple blue and a really nice complementary yellow in the bottom right corner. Pairing those complementary colors together will always produce a great image because people like seeing complementary colors whether they realize it or not. If you see those in the field, always shoot those together. Great job, Lisa. Photo number two is from Organic Technology, and we're sticking with street photography in this genre, and what's really good about this is the simplistic nature of this. Now, Luminar makes it really easy for you to transition your photos over into black and white if you even shot them in color in the field, and this is a really good example of a solid black and white image. Simplistic street photography, you have good, equal lines on either side and equal spacing on either side, but then you have that bottom sidewalk or platform line on the bottom thirds of your image with a great composition and a great way to construct this photograph. For photo number three, we're heading to Mexico, and this is a really cool street photograph as well, but it's also like a cityscape that you can use. Shot vertically, which is good, pairing it with the vertical buildings on the side. You have taxi cars in here, but I really think the subtle way of making this image was having the sun really peeking out from behind the buildings on the top left part of the photo, and really using the sun flares on that to subtly shoot light rays out. And you can also impact this even more using the sun rays feature in Luminar. I think he did this with this photo. Hey, at Skylum, we're wondering, are you using the sun rays feature? If yes, comment below and tell us why you love it so much. Photo number four is from Timo Kretzberg. And what I really like about this image is the way that he frames up this location. Shooting through a natural window, finding some spacing and branches that he used to shoot directly through that branches and have them kind of faded and blurred out on the edges so you can really hone in on the subject, which is this bridge down below in the valley. This is a great look to your images that you can use. Speaking of looks, Luminar has great looks and presets that you can use for your images to quickly change how these look and the style of how these look. There are several on Luminar that you can use to create your own creative style and your own style of photos. There's so many looks in Luminar. Comment below with your favorite looks that you're using to stylize your photos and complement your photo style. Again, if you wanna try out Luminar, that's linked below in the video description for you to check out click on that it'll take you to the site where you can try that out for free and also remember if you look at these images and you're like hmm, i want to see mine on this video as well head over to instagram follow at skylum underscore global and then when sharing your images use the hashtag made with luminar and you can have the possibility of seeing your images 
on videos like these to show off to the rest of the world when they're shown. Next up, we're heading to Myanmar with Sherwin Reyes, and this is a great reflection photo. Anytime you're shooting reflections in outdoor photography, travel photography, landscape photography, put that horizon line straight in the middle and have the reflection showing up equally on the bottom and top of your image to have that reflection really featured and have your subject featured really well in your outdoor photos. And not to mention, it also helps to have an amazing sunset going on like he did in this photo. Great job, Sherwin, for capturing this, framing it up perfectly, and having some great light in this image. Photo at number six, we're heading to Matterhorn in Switzerland with Jamie Betts' photo. This is an amazing image. Number one, you have great atmosphere with fog down below the peak of the Matterhorn, a very famous mountain in Switzerland. You have that peak sticking out against a very clear, dark sky, a very moody photo. But the best part of this is number one, Jamie Betts used scale, having people paired in the bottom of the image against that giant mountain, but also used that scale subject of the people framed against a very obvious background. They're not lost in the image, they're framed against a solid gray tone or a solid white. And that's a great way to put scale or people into your images. Look for those blank spaces or solid colors that you can put people in front of to really feature them best in your images. Rounding out this week's list, at number seven, we're heading to Hallstatt, Austria. And the main thing you should take away from this is how easily Luminar allows you to take a great photo shot in the field in an amazing location like Austria, and then using those features to complement your images and complement your photos through the post-processing process. And, and how this photo was constructed is you see the holes in the clouds that you have sunlight kind of shining through. You can use the sun rays feature in Luminar to make sun rays come out of those and really boost that effect in your photography. This impacts the look of the skies and creates a realistic version of sun rays that you can use to increase the interest level of your photos, complementing those using the post-processing of Luminar to boost your photos and take those to the next level. Hey, if you wanna try Luminar for free, there's a link below in the video description for that for you to check out. Again, follow Skylum Software on Instagram at, at Skylum underscore global and use the hashtag made with Luminar when sharing your images to have the possibility of seeing your photos on videos like these and on their Instagram account and subscribe to this channel to see if your photos made the cut for next week's list. Remember, the more photos you share, the more opportunity you have of getting on videos like this. Also, if you wanna follow my channel that has weekly videos that help you improve your landscape photography through infield and post-processing tutorials, as well as gear reviews, that link is below in the video description as well. For this week and best of Luminar, I'm signing off. Remember to share your photos on Instagram to get on next week's video. 